that I'm using the horn, I'm communicating with the hounds. Just as you tell your dog to sit or stay or come, they know that command. It sounds different to them. Sit, stay, come, lay down, roll over, whatever. There's, that, that's, that is the command that I use, but the horn travels further than the voice. So they know these calls just like your dog would know, sit, stay, whatever. So anyway, what you're going to hear at, when we go off on the hunt, the first thing you'd hear is leaving the meat. And that's when everybody's talking at the stir cup and all that. And I'll blow, leaving the meat, that lets you know that we're moving off. And that is just simply... <coughs> when we get out to the area, we're going to draw the cover, which means we're going to hunt that area. I will position my horse which direction I want the hounds to go. And then I'll give them the command to go in. I'll tell them, okay, hunt them up. And then I will blow... Um, drawing the cover, which means here I am, follow me, keep hunting, all that combined. It's just my way of communicating with the hounds where I'm at. If, as, as I start to swing one way or the other, I might blow it more often. So the hounds that are on the outskirts of me, they will swing with me in that direction. And it's also for the staff and the, the field. So they might, we, not, we might not have visual contact, but they can hear the horn and they know where I'm at, as do the hounds. And I blow that, depending on how much wind there is, depending on how far away the hounds might be, or maybe how far the field will be, would, will determine how often I blow this um, uh, drawing a cover. And then I'll follow that up with, hunt him up, where is he, draw on, go on, whatever. Just a little uh, gibberish. And so <clears throat> that is why we're hunting. And then when um, you hit on a fox, the hounds hit a fox or a coyote, and they start to speak, and they start to or throw their voice. There's a lot of different terms for it. But then I will blow gone away. Gone away is basically my voice, and it lets the hounds know and the field, let the hounds know that we found a fox or a coyote. Everybody get in here, let's go, we're chasing. And so any of the hounds that are off, way off, they might not hear a few other hounds opening, but they might hear the, the horn. So the horn is basically my voice, my cry with the hounds. And you wanna blow this when you find a fox and when you're taking off. It's an excitement call, brings the hounds to you and away you go. So that's um, gone away. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> and then I will keep I will keep going with that as long as I have enough oxygen. <laughs> and, and I don't know if any of you ever um, blown a horn or um, you you start to get. If you do this too long, you can start to get lightheaded. <laughs> <laughs> and um, possibly have a stroke. I've, I've, I've had that happen a few times. Many strokes. Where yeah, I've, I've blown it and I've tried to do it real good and it, it came out real good and for a long time. And I'm galloping down the road on my horse and I start to get fuzzy headed. And I start <laughs> falling forward. And I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm almost on my horse's neck, and I'm like, oh, shit, don't kill me, don't kill me. <laughs> I'm telling my horse this. I'm, I'm just fuzzy, and I'm just about to. And all of a sudden, it's like, okay, we're coming back, we're coming back, we're coming back. <laughs> it's, 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 it's strange, it's strange. So you try not to blow too much, but. Woo. And, and then, like I said, Ooh. I would do it some more, and do it some more. And, <laughs> but I'm not going to do it now. So... <laughs> Then the next call you would hear here at Waterloo would be um, pack up, and that means come. When you hear this, it's just a pack up. And that's come. It's like you tell your dog, come. You whistle, and your dog learns to come. That is what that means. When we go out on hound exercise, we practice some of these. 
especially this one, pack up. So if you ever notice, we're out on the hunt and we get to the end of where we're drawing the cover and I call for the hounds, they come in. Well, they're, they're conditioned, just like you would condition your dog when you whistle for it, you tell it to come, you teach it to come in. We do this on hound exercise a lot. We'll take the hounds, we'll make them stay, which we, I use hold it, the whole pack will stay, I'll walk away and I'll blow this command. The hounds are encouraged to come to me. We do this repetition over and over and over and over and that's how those hounds learn to come to the pack up. So, and then the next one you would hear here is when I call for staff. If um, now with cell phones, we don't use it near as much, but occasionally I will use it because I'm trying to can't get my phone out or something. And that is just dot, 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 a series of notes. And that would mean come here, I need help for whatever reason. So, <laughs> that's about, <laughs> that's, that's about all you'll hear, that's about all you'll hear here. Um, occasionally, when, when a fox goes to ground, that's another call that is used with a horn. And I haven't done this in quite a while because we haven't put any to ground. We usually just keep chasing them until we stop the hounds. But uh, in order for a fox to go to ground, they're usually very tired, or they might be pregnant or injured or something like that, um, or they're being pushed real hard, and they'll go into their earth. But you would go up to the, um, the earth and just <laughs> you just continue that, and the hounds, they get there, they'd be <laughs> and you just keep doing that with them, and they just keep whining and singing with you. And, but that doesn't happen here very often. And um, another one that they use is, and we haven't, we hardly ever use this, especially now with, with cell phones and whatnot, but it was called, they call it um, riot. And that is if your, your hounds are being bad, like if they're chasing a deer, or if they're on a coon or something, and you don't want them chasing that. And that'd be a sour note. And I, I don't think I've ever done this on a hunt, but some hunts do, and it's, and that just, if the staff heard that, that'd mean, hey, these hounds are bad, get to them. Where now, if we had a problem, I'd just call and say, Jeff or <laughs> John, and say, get over here. hey, those hounds are wrong, stop them. So, but, um, and then the last one that I can think of is um, going home, and I haven't done that in a long time. And that's just it gives a, you a headache. Well, yeah, especially after you've been uh, blowing the horn all day, but... That's just a series of up and downs, up and downs. It's supposed to be a um, kind of a sad but cheerful note, I guess. It's, you had a good time, but you're, you're going home, the hunt's over, and the day's done. And I don't even remember how to blow it. <laughs> but it's, it's something, it just goes up and down. <laughs> keep going with that on and, on and, on. and I don't I don't do that one but so just to recap the ones that you're gonna hear here and it would start off with leaving the meat drawing the cover and, um, gone away